So, today we're going to be reading Genesis chapter 22, verse 18. In your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Okay, so this is part of a larger story where Abraham offered up Isaac as a sacrifice. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the story, God called um, Abraham to offer his his son Isaac, who is the promised child, um, with Abraham and Sarah. Um, they were in their very elderly, advanced ages when they uh, conceived and given birth to Isaac. So, Isaac is probably well into his adolescence or teen years. And with that being said, uh, God called from Abra- called to Abraham from heaven, telling him that he wants um, him to offer up Isaac as a sacrifice to him. So Abraham made that move, you know, he started uh, to sacrifice and, well, started to, you know, begin that process of going up to the mountain with Isaac and sacrificing to the Lord. But the moment that Abraham went to uh, slay his son, God called Abraham to stop, saying that he will provide for himself a sacrifice. And that has been accomplished through the person of Jesus Christ. So this whole story really does um, foreshadow or really tell the picture of a, 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 a father giving up his son willingly for, 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 for the sins of many. That's what the purpose of sacrificing was, uh, to give glory to God, but to but to pay for the, the, the sins of, of mankind. Now, animal sacrifices um, can only do but so much. It can't take away sin permanently. And God really does abhor child sacrifice, which is why Isaac was not sacrificed on that mountain. But God himself provided for himself a sacrifice for the sins of all mankind through the person of Jesus Christ. And here we have in verse 18, because of Abraham's obedience, God says, in your seed, all nations of the earth will be blessed. Because Abraham showed such selfless, self-sacrificing faith and love toward God, God blessed him, saying that in your seed, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. And it's in the seed of Abraham, through faith. We have the whole Hebrews 11, which is dedicated to the hall of faith. People, maybe that was not necessarily um, in the uh, bloodline of Abraham, but had the same faith that Abraham has. Brothers and sisters, that can that can be true for you and I today. You know, we are the seed of Abraham if we have faith in Jesus Christ and through God, because we ought to give up all that God has given us back to him, knowing that he is the ultimate authority, that he is in control of everything. Like Abraham, let us not withhold anything from God. If God commands for us to do it, let us do it happily, knowing that God is fully in control. Furthermore, God says, because you have obeyed my voice. Obedience is something that's not widely uh, preached nowadays in the pulpit. Obedience. God desires obedience and mercy above any type of sacrifice. He desires that because the act of obedience is an act of, of love. He said, if you love me, then you'll keep my commandments. Keeping commandments is being obedient to them. Brothers and sisters, let us not forsake the days of small beginnings. Let us take everything that we do or call to do by God as a privilege and an honor and and an act of obedience that we may glorify him and praise him and be the sons within the seed of Abraham who had faith, complete trust in our Lord, our God. Thanks for watching. Please check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for the latest content. Also, check us out on our website at www.waytruthem.org or contact us with this email address to connect with us. We are standing ready, willing to pray for you, to believe with you, and to connect with you. Also, check out our book on Amazon called What Do I Do Now? Building a Solid Christian Foundation to help you navigate through the most common questions asked by new and mature believers. May God bless you.